Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So in the previous one, what we have done is construct this little mountainside. Well, it's not really a castle, is it? It's more like a our civilization that is going to be built over here. And then I think the biggest milestone was also having these district crossing stations that are now established and transporting resources. So the drought has just ended about a few hours ago. And are we full? Okay, we are full of dirt, which is surprising. I mean, we do have quite a few pots in here and they have been working 24 seven. Now this mountain top has been coming along pretty nicely. And um, okay, they've done all the levees. We still have a few more pieces in here, but yeah, for some reason, things are a little bit slower. I guess the beavers have started and the bots, of course, as well. They have started constructing up this levee wall. So this is a slightly older project that we have been wanting to do for quite some time. We'd like to uh, remove all of those fluid dumps from here and connect it up. Well, not really connect it up. We're building this canal ground up from, uh, well, along this mountainside over here. And then the plan was to use this single tile or water source to provide water into this canal. Now, uh, what we still do have to do around here, it is a bit tricky, but we'd like to place a few levees just like so. Then um, I am going to give you a slightly high priority. I do want them to be gone. And then <laughs> let's have a look. We are going to build those levees actually through here, probably like so. So this means we, yeah, now we are still going to need this. And then a few levees in here, get rid of the stairs and we should be fine. I mean, we are going to leave this for, for quite some time. Yeah, this should be slightly lower priority task because, yeah, it's not very important for us right now. Okay, what else have we done? So let's uh, zoom over here. So in the previous episode, it was kind of fun to build this sort of live or, or together, I suppose. And uh, yeah, as I said before as well, I typically do it off camera, but um, I, I couldn't help myself. So I have put down a few more things. I don't know how easily you can see this, but the goal and idea is to create kind of like pillars around the uh, the scrap city over here and i'd like to create a, a lovely network of different roads and bridges that connect up this mountaintop because our district center is going to be here and i'm hoping to put a bit of entertainment maybe some houses like scattered around the place as well and um, yeah i really want to make this place alive and i don't want them to just run up and down from these different um, stairs that we have around this place i kind of want them to connect through these different pillars and mountains to the other side of the colony. So right now we have an access point over here where they can run up all the way through and in case they want to sort of jump off and go to the, I don't know what we're going to have in here, but let me just get a better angle. We do have a couple of uh, spiral staircases here as well, so they can just climb down, go around this pillar, back to the other side, and then we are connected to the main road again. Now, if they carry on across those bridges, then I'm kind of still thinking what to place up here. But right now we do have some metal fences, a bench up here and some shrubs as well. And then maybe over here, if we place down some more tiles. Uh oh, where did it go? OK, here we go. Then uh, we could do some more viewing platforms or maybe even some housing units. I guess we'll see how it's going to go. Now, um, yeah, this might be like a central pillar that connects yeah, four ways we can go. Well, we just came from this way. Then we can turn left to go to the district center. But perhaps we could build like another bridge that goes onto this mountain as well. We're not entirely sure yet, but I guess we'll see. And then, yeah, we have another pillar over here where we have this kind of like a wrap around the, the little mountain top. And then it connects to the uh, district center that we are going to place right about here. We do need quite a bit of supporting pillars all around this place in here. Have you guys started with this one? No, you have not. So I think we have to do just one more over here and then we should be good. What is happening? Okay, yeah, they're just trying to catch up with all the all the works that we have here. Now to speed up the process, we should probably have uh, some more construction 
houses. Where can we place a, another one that's not going to be in our way? Perhaps right on this mountain top over here. Okay, let's give you a highest priority as well. We'll speed up the things. And uh, yeah, that should give us another four bots to help us construct everything. Right, so quite a bit of time has gone into developing and coming up with these ideas over here. So in this episode, we are going to have a look around some... Uh, some different areas of the colony perhaps and uh, yeah let's just allow the beavers to construct or continue constructing this area okay so um, it appears that our log situation is not very good of course so we are starting to put a couple more different lumberjack flags over here now might do a temporary one over here I really want to push into this area so before we can do that we are going to have to sort of get rid of a few more trees oh we haven't marked these for harvesting yet okay so that's fine uh, hopefully these beavers start going across the bridge over here as well and then we can place some more flags down on the other side because there is a ton of trees that we can cut down and turn them into logs okay so this side seems to be going pretty nicely we can probably add a couple more trees into this zone and okay we finally have the stream gauge that is done as well what about this section over here okay mark you down for harvesting um the middle bit over here i mean i guess we can but they're not marked for growing so let's just leave it for a little while uh what else the power production is not very good here oh of course yeah because uh, all the water is going out from the other directions I mean, they're not really connected up with anything just yet, so uh, let's just leave it for a second. Gonna have a look over here as well. Power production seems to be okay. Yeah, we're not really struggling unless um, until we get to the trout season, that's when we are gonna have some problems. Right, so some of those water tanks seem to be a little bit empty. So I am placing one of those spots in the deep water pump over here, and uh, hopefully it's gonna speed the collection up just a little bit let's have a quick look over here as well where are everyone going i mean let me just check i have given them the lowest of priorities so hopefully this mountaintop gets done a little bit quicker or at least before everything else all right and let's have a look over here as well we do have a forester that is replanting this whole zone and then i'm thinking we could try and hopefully push towards this area as well. Now, how do we want to approach this? I really do want to remove those blockages over there. So maybe we just hop over from here. Yep, let's have a look. We can do bridges, of course. But for now, let's place these ones over here like so. Platform over there. All right, here we go. Couple of roads. All the trees are now gone. I think I'd like them to have a slightly higher priority as well. And um, although I don't want to have uh, straight roads in here, right now the distance from the district center is pretty far away. So we might want to... Yeah, I think we're going to try and access it from here. We'll fix up the road a little bit later once we know how we want to develop this area. Okay, hybrid as well. Let's just make sure everything gets done as quick as possible. Hopefully no one's going to get stuck on the other side. I mean, they should be fine. They can always run over here. Oh, here we go. Another tree is done now. And okay, lovely. We can also do one of the flanks. Let's um, bring those beavers a little bit closer and start uh, clearing this up as quick as we can. Okay, is this the time... To place the district center a little bit closer. I mean, right now, our reach is pretty good. Over here is 102. And over there... Hmm. Yeah. Here is the same. So I, I guess it is kind of in a central area. But I do feel like this is... Yeah. But we're not changing the plan. I mean, we've been... We put already so much work into this area. So, um... So yeah, interesting. For the spots and beavers, I think it would be best if we give them a slightly bit more direct point of access. Not the highest of priorities, but 
you know, this seems to be high enough. So the next thing I would like to do, it uh, seems we have a healthy amount of bots. And uh, if we grab one of you as well, okay, so we got plus 45 into working speed and plus 30 for movement. So I was thinking, how can we make it a little bit better? So there's two options. We could place those control towers that take a bit of science per hour. And uh, I mean, we don't have a lot of science, but we should be fine. Now, the question is, where do we want to make them a bit more efficient? I mean, I guess somewhere here would be great. And then, uh, yeah, maybe scatter a few more around the place as well. But um, the next one that we could do is this one here. So this one would use some extract and canola oil. And every two hours we get two, two sort of units of grease. Okay. I mean, canola oil is okay. We probably need a bit more storage in here. Extract. Hmm. I think quite a few areas are using this. So I do want to be a little bit careful about it. I mean, despite being worried about the quantities of extract, we can always try and improve it. So yeah, I definitely still want to build this somewhere over here. Now the question is, where is a good spot for that? Good to one over here. Or one or two maybe. Yeah, this one could go about here. Pass the power through. But is there any other places that might be a little bit better? Not here. This is pretty crowded as well. I think this area is probably going to change quite a bit. Because it was kind of like our starter setup. Yeah, that layout is kind of in our way. Especially once we start building up this little mountain top here as well but let's just have a look we need 10 metal 20 treated planks and 30 gears we have a quick look over here yeah it seems we have except the treated planks that's a little bit low i think that's something we should probably start producing around here as well because right now it's coming from our main district and yeah it's not the most efficient setup so we are going to lose a little bit of power but that is okay with us. So you can go... Let me just pause this for a second. And... Oh dear, we do not have enough science points. That was... Well, that was not very smart, was it? That means all of our production is going to be paused. But how many points do we have? Okay, it's uh, fortunately not too many that we need. We should be able to get it pretty quickly as well. Um, another thing we should do is let's have a quick look at our main district over here. How much spare or excess power do we have? Okay, that's quite a lot over here. So how about we convert uh, some of that power into science instead? Question is, where shall we do it? This seems like a good location over here. Uh, we can climb over. Oh yeah, let's do that as well. Let's hope we are not messing this colony up even more than we already have. And uh, measure you out. You are going to go these two. Uh, okay, we're fine because the power is still passing through the, the vats over here. Not the vats, the decontamination pods. Alright, there we go. Then we can jump over, get this constructed. Uh, okay, here we go. Platform. And there we go. I mean, I don't think they have anything else to do right now anyways. So we probably don't need to give it the highest of priorities, but it's okay. It's just for good practice. Alright, you do have four spare beavers. But you should have enough. Hmm. Okay, let's just unpause one of them. There we go. And hopefully... Oh, never mind. We didn't even need to jump over... But I guess in the future we can build maybe a couple more over here if we wanted to. So whilst you guys are doing nothing, you can probably take down a few of those trees as well. Alright, so there we go. It seems the bots are pretty quick with constructing this mountain top over here. So we are probably going to need to place those bots back into the dirt excavator. But we are lacking a few. Okay, hold on a second. Let's not forget about uh, something else over here. I know this would have would have happened, but um, okay. Highest of priorities, please get this one done because we are going to need power in all of those buildings. Otherwise, 
If we or have we forgotten about this, then uh, we would probably end up in a situation where we suddenly don't have any bots at all. Okay, this one should be fine now. Yeah, it doesn't take too many resources to have it built. So, um, all right, there we go. Let's have a look at this section here as well. It seems they've done pretty much everything. And now we just need to bring the road through here. And we're not too far from having this area unlocked. And there we go. We finally have all the resources in our grease factory. If only we could get someone to come and build this as well. I bet it's one of those. Oh, never mind. It is done now. Finally. So we are going to need some canola oil extract. We should probably put some storages down here as well. But first, let's have a look. We are definitely not producing any canola here or are we no i'm pretty sure that is all growing over here and then our press for that okay we got one here two of them canola seeds hmm okay so the production is perhaps not the quickest and we might even want to place down a few more this seems to be like a good spot over here and with the anticipation of needing quite a bit of canola oil let's do a couple more oil presses just like so all right we do have the number cruncher over there so that's the second one this means uh, science should go up pretty quickly but uh all right let's get back to canola canola is done over here the oil i mean and then with the extract itself well where was this produced this one is done over oh yeah over here so it takes Band water, fuel logs, and turns it into extract. Power wise, we are still in excess, it seems. So that is lovely. And this zone is kind of out of the way as well, and it might actually work for us pretty, uh, pretty nicely. All right, so let's place you over here. I think that's a decent location as well. We'll pass the power through, and we'll even have a bit of space here for decorations, should we wish to do that but for now not not really okay so uh, hopefully with these three buildings over here we we should be able to keep up with the with the demand all right anything else that we have over here no i think the rest is pretty good isn't it and yeah this is starting to take shape and looking pretty lovely as well all right they've done everything in here so this stuff can go Give you a slightly higher priority and this means we can unlock the rain block over here and will you look at that the two of those blockages are already gone the third one is going and uh, yeah the fourth one is being now removed as well that is looking pretty lovely we are gonna get this lake filled and it's not gonna go off map because we have blockages over here so don't think we have to worry about hmm we may actually want to. Let's have a look over here. We'll do the smallest one. Just about here. And uh, we'll leave you open for the time being. But in the future... Oh no, if we have the bad side and it comes this way... We should probably, just in case... Do one right about here as well. Just in case. So we'll leave it as a manual option. I mean, we're probably going to forget about it anyways. But oh well. And uh, we'll just speed it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's gonna green up this area very nicely. And uh, I guess pave the way for our future farming district as well. This area is now greened up pretty nicely. And I mean, all we're gonna do is place one of those water dumps over here. And that means this whole peninsula is, yeah, is ready for farming. I mean, of course we are gonna have to get rid of those trees, but... There is going to be a lot of green space for us. Um, I guess at the sort of like the mountaintop area could be for the farms themselves. And then they run down the hill to um, to work on the farms. A few of them could be placed on the riverbanks here as well. But I, I guess we'll see. It's a little bit too early to tell. We definitely need another district center somewhere there. And uh, oh yeah, let's not forget we probably want the drain to be running on the outskirts of the of this area as well we we'll probably wanna dive in i guess we'll leave this space for the for our lovely big train station oh yeah 
this should be should be a lovely spot over here and then we can hopefully still go around this area but where we are going to struggle a little bit is this spot here i mean we can probably redesign it a little bit or we yeah it doesn't feel very realistic to build the drain tracks on the water but i guess we'll see all right so a few days have passed already and uh, i thought we'll go around the colony real quick as well so uh kind of changed my mind over here we haven't had a bad tide in quite some time so it's very likely that we will have one very soon oh dear someone stranded somewhere oh okay how are we gonna rescue you from here i do not know that um i guess the only solution is how did you even oh dear okay well that's gonna have to go we're gonna pause this one and this one here as well so this means that you should be able to no here you go and off you go all right highest of priorities and then um ah that's a little bit annoying isn't it another thing we'll have to do is let's just clean it up as quick as we can oh dear someone mm, okay fortunately they can't quite reach that area over there but we are able to extract all of those logs and hopefully yep okay we're fine this one's paused that one's paused oh they might still run over here isn't it they might let's just keep an eye on them couple more guys are you gonna run through nope and here we go all right we can patch you up yet again and that's gonna go here and yeah a bit of a protective wall for those times when we do get the bad tide now this reminds me we actually have to change you up a little bit as well so whilst we still have access over here i think it is time to send our beavers in all the bots whoever is available get rid of those trees and then uh, we'll plan out i think we are going to do those flat gates uh, right about here yep yeah, it doesn't need to be the highest of priorities because we can always construct it from the top as well but i just want to get rid of those trees first all right so we do have access in here as well so that is lovely means we can approach it from the top our you okay let's unpause you again and and now is a time put those stairs over here you can be unpaused too you don't have access right now but that's okay all right highest of priorities well not the highest but high enough i suppose and then over here oh we need another layer of levees okay there we go and then flat gates over here we'll only let through the uh nice and tasty looking water but all the bad water should be filtered out and we'll send it towards here i have a feeling it might flood a little bit because there isn't much of space that we have left in here but um yeah technically we also don't need you in here but to construct this all i wonder if they can do it or not i have a feeling they cannot okay so what can we do probably have to place you in here uh climbing over oh yeah that's gonna be a bit of an issue as well quick check on the mountaintop and this seems to be going up a little bit slower as well but that's probably because we have deprioritized you oh yes we yes we have i've uh, had to give them a couple more stairs so in case you are not busy with this wall over here you can continue putting down a few of those terrain blocks that we had previously uh, scheduled in okay there's still quite a few pots running over here and uh, i think the progress can be yeah it's pretty positive pretty happy about this and uh, even if let's say a bad tide is announced uh, tomorrow we still have three days to construct everything here so yep we can be happy what are you guys doing down here oh you're just tidying it up okay never mind got quite a bit of leaking water over here but i, I think it's okay we can uh, probably add some more floodgates in the future just to make sure i mean i guess i am a little bit worried about the the bad tide but something we could do in here is uh, let's build another one level up okay hear me out one level from here 
And uh, this one will probably want to pause that one so no one gets stuck. And uh, I'll replace the flat gates as well and put it a little bit higher. And the idea is that when the bad tide comes in and the flow is pretty strong, then I don't want it to spill into this lake over here. But it's fine if it floods in here and then spills into, into this sort of, well, bit of a mix that we have in here. So uh, yeah, that's the idea and I guess we'll see how it's going to work out as well. Right, they've not done any of these pillars over here because yeah, that's all the lowest of priorities. Now, they have been quite busy cutting down this forest over here. And if I'm not mistaken, we still have a couple more spare beavers. So yeah, let's, uh, let's place another lumberjack just like so. Three of them should be enough, I think. Yeah, that's quite a sizable area to cut down, so um, off you go. Over here, we should probably fix you up a little bit as well. Now, these trees are not the greatest. I normally don't really use the burst trees at all, but I guess for the beautification purposes, we are going to leave a few in here. And the rest of you... Oh, okay. Fine. It does seem we are going to have to cut you all down before we are able to place down the trees that we want to keep in this area, but that's okay. Alright, what else do we have? I think we are constructing... Oh yeah, switching a few things over. We do want to bring another wood workshop into this area. And then uh, to pass the power through, I've um, sort of moved out the gear workshop over here. And then we'll do a couple of charging stations a little bit closer for the uh, bots as well. But okay, I think that's going to be a pretty good progress for this episode. And oh dear, we've got three more bots that are stuck over here. Not to worry. Where are you guys? Okay, you're uh, somewhere somewhere in here. Right, highest of priorities for this section here. Let's get this built. Actually, the spiral one isn't the best now, is it? In case we still need to climb down over here, let's uh, do the normal ladder. All right, and here we go. So I think that's going to be a pretty good amount of work for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.